Have you ever noticed how the canopies of stealth fighters have an unusual tint to them? Like these shots of F-22s with a gold hue, or these of F-35s with different purple and blue hues shining through the canopy glass. Well, believe it or not, it's actually an important part of the aircraft's stealth profile. You see, radar waves can pass right through clear glass and similar materials used for fighter canopies. And when they do, they'll find a treasure trove of hard angles and other objects that can and do reflect radar waves right back toward the receiver, including the ejection seat and even the pilot's head and helmet, compromising the aircraft's stealth. So, in order to address this, stealth fighter cockpit canopies incorporate a thin film of indium tin oxide, or ITO, that serves as a sort of shield to deflect electromagnetic energy, or radar waves, rather than allowing it to pass through that glass and into the cockpit's interior. And believe it or not, it has a much bigger impact on the fighter's stealth than you might think. To show you what I mean, let's look to the decade-spanning efforts to reduce the radar returns of the F-16, with what we commonly know as have-glass treatments. Now, today's fifth generation of have-glass treatments, known appropriately enough as have-glass 5, involve coating about 60% of the F-16 in 10 to 12 millimeters, or between 0.4 and 0.8 inches of radar-absorbent materials, or RAM, borrowed directly from today's stealth fighters. Now, this adds about 220 pounds to the dry weight of the Viper, but in conjunction with an indium tin oxide coating on that cockpit canopy, reduces the fighter's estimated radar cross-section by a whopping 76%, going from around 5 square meters down to just 1.2 which is only a little bit bigger than Sukhoi says their Su-57 offers. But to see what indium tin oxide coatings can do all on their own, we need to go all the way back to have glass one, or the very first effort to reduce the F-16's radar return, which was done by, you guessed it, vapor depositing or spraying on a thin layer of indium tin oxide to the outside of the fighter's cockpit canopy, and very much the same way you might apply reflective coatings to a pair of sunglasses. And incredibly, that simple spray-on application did more than give the Viper's cockpit canopy a cool new gold hue. It also reduced the fighter's detectability on radar by 15%. Now, aircraft that are meant for stealth duties right from the start don't just spray this material on, but instead have it integrated into the canopy's construction right from the start. And let me tell you, these canopies are not cheap. The F-22's canopy has no metal frame, so it has to be produced as one single piece, and it reportedly costs as much as $400,000 to replace. The F-35s, on the other hand, is made of two pieces fused together, which makes them cheaper to produce at the expense of a little visibility. But they've still proven troublesome. In 2019, it was revealed that some F-35 cockpit canopy materials were beginning to delaminate and separate from the glass, forcing them to be replaced after only a few hundred flight hours, or about a year's worth of regular flying. And while these cockpit canopies are cheaper than the Raptors, they're still reportedly between $119,000 and $200,000 a piece to swap out. Now, that issue, however, does seem to be a thing of the past, with this problem resolved in later build F-35s, and new, more durable canopies are also being added to the older build jets. In fact, these pictures of F-35s getting tougher new indium tin oxide coated cockpit canopies out at Hill Air Force Base in Utah were taken just yesterday. So, in a real way, the indium tin oxide coating on these cockpit canopies work sort of like a good pair of sunglasses, helping me to hide from direct engagement with the world and look at a bit cooler while I do it. <laughs>